Okay, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and call my friend Jennifer here, and let's just see how we can go about doing recording that conversation. So my very first thing is I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring up Skype, and we'll just give her a call. So let's give her a call. We're going to do the video, but before I do the video setup here, I'm going to go ahead and set this up so that way the audio, uh, the microphone is capturing the microphone source that I want, which is going to be the Yeti microphone. Uh, and then in the video here, we want to kind of set the stage, so to speak, on how we're going to be looking at her. So I'm going to actually set this up. So I'm basically looking at, you know, at my friend here. So I'm going to be actually going to be using the, the camera, the webcam that's built into my, my computer here. Or this could also be a disconnected USB webcam that you just put on top of your, you know, right in front of you somewhere. So that way we have the visual of looking at uh, the person that we're talking to in Skype. Meanwhile, when we do the Camtasia recording, I'm going to also set it up so I have another camera source that's actually 15 degrees offset or 10 to 15 degrees offset from talking to, uh, to, our, to our subjects. So that way we have the option of switching camera angles. This is going to be slick. Watch. All right, so let's go ahead. Uh, we've got this set up here. I'm going to go ahead and give Jennifer a call here. So you'll notice that the view here is me looking into the camera uh, as I'm talking to Jennifer. So Jennifer comes up here. There she is. Hey, Jen, how you doing? Hi, Mel. I'm doing good. How are you? Not too shabby. So I'm going to go ahead. We haven't started the recording here yet. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, Camtasia at this point. Uh, so here we're now going to bring up Camtasia. The uh, recording comes up here. And this can be any other software package you use. But basically, you can be using Camtasia. Macintosh is what I'm using here. You can use Camtasia Studio. And this also works in ScreenFlow. But the settings that I typically like to have here is to show that uh, we're recording full screen. And then we're also going to record this camera angle as well. Now, this is going to be the camera angle that you want to have that's kind of offset. Now, I'm going to be obviously using, uh, I'm going to select a secondary angle here which happens to be uh, this camera angle here but you can also make this be like uh, a lot of times Jen we use a DSLR camera right a Lumix yes so, we do so this could also be uh, a secondary camera source that you use that could be a uh, you know like a, a HD camcorder or this Lumix that I'll show you uh, that I'm showing you here right now on the on the side screen here okay so we got uh, that camera is selected that's what's going to be recording here we're recording the Yeti microphone and then we also want to have system audio on as well because Jennifer's voice is actually coming through system audio so now we'll go ahead and start the recording at this point we wait for the countdown and then then you can kind of have you know in during the editing phase later on you can have your music come in and now we start the interview so there's Jennifer at this point we're recording uh, in Camtasia Mac at this point. And uh, Jennifer, just tell us a little bit about how you produce videos for your company. Well, um, so the next, the next project that I'm working on is actually another training project for um, our new support members. And it would make them feel more personal and more welcome at Carol. Everybody always has the first day jitters at Carol, and I believe that everywhere else. I think as um, internal training staff, it is good to make everyone feel like they're a part of the family. Kind of an intro video, I guess. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, what software do you typically use when you uh, when you shoot that when you cut and edit that? I typically use ScreenFlow because I'm more um, I'm more it's more easier to control. But however, I do use um, Adobe Premiere occasionally when I want to make it very cinematic. Um, and as well, we use um, Camtasia as well. Great. Hey, thanks a lot for uh, joining us here today. And so just short and sweet there, we're going to go ahead and stop the recording at this point, And I'll say bye. Take care. All right, so now at that point, we stop the recording. We're done with that. And then we just push a stop on the Camtasia recorder at this point. Now, what I can show you here is we have different camera angles here. So in the next, uh, in the follow-on to this, what I'll do is just kind of show you what we're looking at here in terms of what the different tracks are, where the audio is coming from, and also notice now that what we have here is we actually have three different camera angles. We have that one camera angle that we captured from the disconnected camera, the webcam, or the DSLR, or in this case I used another webcam, so this is our secondary camera source. But we also were able to capture in here the camera angle from Jennifer uh, right there and then also this other uh, head-on view uh, right down here as you can take a look at that which was also recorded from Skype so I'll talk about each of these in the next video.